Okay. Do you want to build I guess I don't table? have to have my glasses on right now. Let's talk video games. Let's do it. Specifically, the mess that they make on a console. The cords, the games, the open junk everywhere. It's an eyesore. You moms, you feel us. So, my son Brooks just got in his new room and that's what I'm experiencing right now. So today, I designed a console table to go under his TV to hide all the video game junk and make his room look cute again. I can't wait to see it. Me too, but you gotta help me build it. I'm feeling inspired. Okay, well, just, just wait till you see it. Let's go, okay. So with wood prices so stupid high right now, I really wanted to design this um, still inexpensive, so I went to Lowe's and I kind of just looked at everything to see the best way to build this. And what I found is using laminated project panels was gonna be my best bet. So that is what we're using right here. We're actually, we have two of them. Y'all can get the free plans in the description box below and I'll show you everything I've used. But this is a laminated pine project panel. I have two of them for top and bottom and also to create our sides. So I've got my first one cut and we're gonna mark center. So let me, I don't remember how long that is, Ash. Can you measure that for me? <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Sweet. Uh, 54. 54, what's half of 54, Ashley? 22? Is it? Wait, no. 25. 20, 27. 27. 27. Ashley, awesome. There's our math whiz right there. Okay, so I'm marking center right here because that's going to be where we line up our middle board. And then the other two boards are going to be flush with our sides. So first is first. These are also the laminated pine project panels. Say that four times fast. Laminated pine project panels. <laughs> so Ash is going to go ahead and add three quarter inch pocket holes on the ends of each of these. I've cut these down to size. Like here? No, you know what, let me mark them so she does Please. this correctly. So what we're gonna do, Ashley, is we're gonna do oh. pocket holes like this. So boom, boom, Facing boom. Facing one Because then it's gonna go like this. Boom. Okay, perfect. Cool? Got but it. on all three, one side. And I've got your drill ready. I've got your Craig Jig 720 Pro ready. All right. doing now is we're going to add these boards um, to our top board so you want to keep in mind this the one we're using right now is going to be the actual top of the table and then the one we'll add last will be the bottom of the table so I'll start with the center one and I should probably mark center right here too it's not just on one side throwing things around I'll tell you what mad about summer okay I'm drawing or I'm gonna add a line of wood glue probably way too thick and then we're attaching these with pocket hole screws and wood glue. I am attaching this end board with one inch pocket hole screws. This laminated pine is a little bit thinner than the three quarter inch board, so you just wanna keep that in mind. We did drill three quarter inch pocket holes, but we are using one inch pocket hole screws. So at this point, we've got our sides on the top of our table, and we are going to pause and add our hardware now. That way, it's a lot easier to access it once we put the bottom on. So pause. So pause. Hardware time. So Whitney found this hardware on Amazon. I love it, I've never seen it before, but this is a magnetic clasp, and this piece will go on the door, and this piece goes inside of the cabinet. So we're gonna line it up flush to attach it, and I'm gonna go ahead and mark where to put the holes. I'm using my Craig Quick, Quick Flip. Flip, and I'm just gonna do two little starter holes all right, that one's on. Now for the next one. Okay. Now that we have the magnet closures done, we are going to add the base of the table. So Ash has added a line of wood glue on our support boards, and this is our base, which is the exact same size as our top. And we're going to get that set in place. Okay, and what we're going to do for this part, guys, is we're going to use our quick flip, which is over here because this will allow us to countersink these screws, which is really awesome. And I'm gonna create just a few, probably three of these. Cool, we're gonna do it on our middle board as well. Now we're going to quickly flip and then we can attach all of our screws. The front of our table is a one by six 
And what we're gonna do is set it in front and I'm gonna mark both sides to get an exact cut here. And then I'm gonna take it over to the miter saw and get a cut. <laughs> that would have been really bad if it hit her face though. <laughs> okay, so now we are adding piano hinges. These are hinges I found on Amazon. I'll link to them. And I'm gonna do two, one on each side. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and mark this real quick because I'll probably want to pre-drill with these now that I'm... And we're just lining this up with the top of the hinge just right over the edge of the table. So we know where to drill our pilot holes. And this just gives us a little pilot hole since the screws are a little bit small. I did also find the screws on Amazon because these hinges do not come with screws, so I'll link to those as well. They're super inexpensive and they're good screws too. So what we wanna do is, this is gonna be, again, the bottom of our table, so the hinge will sit right here. So we're actually gonna open this up and line it up with our pilot holes. And these are not magnetic screws, which is so awesome. So I'm just gonna line up my first one. And get that in place and then we'll attach the other screws. Okay, I have our first hinge installed and I'm gonna let Ash install the second one. We've got all the hardware on. We've got these super heavy duty magnetic closures. They are awesome and the black hinges. Now we're gonna close it and add the legs. So for the legs, we're gonna be using hairpin legs that I found also on Amazon. Shocking, I know. Um, these are super easy to attach and also so cute. I'll link to them in the description box below. You can get four really inexpensive and we are going to be putting one on each corner. I'm actually gonna use three quarter inch Craig screws because they're really strong screws and then they won't poke through. Um, one thing you'll note too guys is we did leave the back of this open and that's to vent all the video game goodness that's gonna be in there. So you won't see that it's open but the cords can just run through the back and give us plenty of ventilation as well. Whitney, what is your favorite video game when you were growing up? Super Mario Brothers. But Ashley was better at it, so I used to ask Ashley to play because she could beat the whole thing. I love Mario. Yeah, and I love the Tetris. Game. I still play Tetris. Yeah, on my phone. She could beat the game every single time. Bowser. <laughs> okay, one leg down, three to go. Okay, we've got the legs attached. Now we're gonna flip this table over and get it stained and then fill it up with some video games. This is so perfect, it's so cute and functional. I know I'm so excited to finally get it done and get his video games off the floor. And I'm super excited about the shelves we'll be building next to. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another video. Happy building. Console table, 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 we're building. These are also the laminated prime. <laughs> okay, so. We're so, we're so we're, funny. We, we should like really be on Comedy Central or something <laughs> instead of. And I'm gonna do two, one on each side. And before. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Way to go, G. So, all right. So I have. Did I did I do this right? I feel like I did it wrong. What mm. you want? You know I got it. So we've got this super heavy duty metal. Or, so we've got, okay. And we've got this super heavy duty ma magnet. Magnetic. Explosion. Sorry. Okay. All right. Let that magic only happens once. Yeah. <laughs>